Hi there and welcome to my channel and today I thought I would show you some of the dolls that are still currently in a plastic um, drawers. I'd like to get some of them out on display and I might pass some of them on or put them up for sale. First of all are uh, my two, um, I think these are reproduction original Ginny dolls. They do have names but I can't find the original box at the moment. So this is one of them. She has solid legs that do go backwards and forwards and she has little arms and they go up and down and she has open and closed eyes and she's quite a pretty little girl. I will move the camera up a bit so we can see her eyes. Okay. And then the other one like her is this one and her Um, it's like a bomber jacket, is it? I can't remember what they're called, but they're very common in America. She's got her Ginny sign. She's got little jeans on. She's, as you can see, her, she's strung. So her arms go up and down and her legs are solid. So they do go back, backwards and forwards. She's got cute little uh, trainers or sneakers on with little socks. They're beautifully made and they're beautiful clothes. Put her jacket back on. Can I get a hand through? That's it. And her hair's, her hair's quite pretty as well. So there's her. She has quite quite a lot of blushing on her compared to the other girl. Then I have my vintage Ginnies from the 70s. These two are twins. And again, their eyes open and close. They have solid legs that go backwards and forwards in their arms. But they're more of a rubber rather than a hard plastic. These two girls also have matching gym outfits. They're quite pretty girls. It almost looks like their hair is a slightly different colour, but I think it just depends on the angle and the sun that's reflecting off them. These two girls I'm going to probably rehome. They'll probably put them up, put them up for sale to rehome because it seems silly having all these dolls stuck in drawers and not on display. I would quite like to have these two out on display though. And then I have my tiny Betsy doll, Betsy doll, and this is why I've got a big Betsy and this is tiny Betsy. She has open and closed eyes. She has cute little jointed legs. And her arms are all one piece. And she's she's very sweet and I really like her. Um, I would quite like to... Oh, she's wearing a dress I've made her. She does come with a, an original outfit as well. And I'd quite like to get her up on display, perhaps sitting, probably having her sitting with um, Rose Cottage, uh, with Madeline of Rose Cottage. And then I have this doll who is a little woman by, who is she by? Ah, she's a Madame Alexander doll, I thought she was, and she's very cute. She's got all her original outfit on. She's got these little bloomers. And I quite like to have her on display somewhere because she's definitely a display type doll. And she's uh, holding her, well, I'm not quite sure what that is, but yeah, she's really cute. Then I've got these two little dolls who are definitely vintage. This one is a rosebud doll and she was given to me by my friend Charlene who has journeys with Jerrica and Juliet on Instagram who takes part in the postcard swap and I think she's a cute little doll. She's wearing something I've made her and then this one is also, she's also out on display. She sits in my office with my study stuff and she's a, she's a little sweetie as well and I call her little gem and she's wearing a little dress that I've knitted for her 
She actually has um, her shoes aren't, I thought they were removable, but yeah, I think they've just welded onto her feet. This one has got removable shoes. She's wearing Madeline's, a pair of Madeline's black shoes. But these are cute little dolls. And then I thought I'd show you uh, three more dolls who aren't vintage. This is a, um, a mini Kids and Cats doll. I think they had a special name, but I can't remember what they are. She has arms that go up and down and they also go out sideways a little bit. She has solid legs. She has blushed. And they go backwards and forwards. And she's quite a sweet little girl. I've got a few little clothes for her. And she needs to come out of the drawer as well and go on display with some of my other dolls of a similar size. And then lastly, I've got two thrifted dolls. This little strawberry shortcake, slightly more modern version of strawberry shortcake. I found her in New Zealand in 2019, I think it was. So she came home with me. She actually still smells. She was in a bit of a state. I've washed her hair, just pinned it back and I've made her a little dress. And she's wearing boots that belonged to a Lottie doll. And she's quite cute. I decided to keep her. I found three, three or four dolls that year. I found her. A Jean doll, which I sold on. Rightly or wrongly. And my Corolle doll. And my Blythe, Helen Blythe, Jackie Five doll. And they all were in a local, all but one of them were in a local charity shop and they cost me I don't know 50 50 cents and I think a, a pound so they were very good buys which is partly why I sold the jean on so I could make a little bit of money from her and then lastly this little Lottie doll I got for 50p in a charity shop and where nearly all the dolls I found in this country have been in a charity shop and where funnily enough and she was in the same box um, <clears throat> that I found, the same shop that I found my vintage Sasha baby, but this one cost 50p, and she was in her complete outfit. She's just missing her hat. And Lottie dolls do bend at the legs, they have bend and click legs, and arms that go sideways and up and down. Okay, so I'll take a few photos of them together, and hopefully I'll find a shelf for them to go on, and I'll put that at the end as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.